I just recorded a couple videos and all my videos I had to clear my throat. What is the deal? Anyways, let's get straight into this story time, y'all. My story times haven't really been popping like that lately, but I'm going to keep them going and I got a story right today. So let's get right into it. Alright y'all, this is going to be a really, really, really crazy story. Um, If you guys have kind of been keeping up with my story times, which I do have a playlist with all my story times. Oh, Alright, so they are all there. So if you guys want to go back and watch them, you know, even my very first story time, five kids, five baby moms. Okay, if you want to go look at that, you can. But let's get into this one. This one real crazy. Look, I don't want nobody pointing fingers. I don't want nobody judging me. I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm grown. I don't got time for y'all to be trying to be a mother figure up in, you know, my channel because I already got mine. Okay? I already got mine. All right? So, anyway, let's get right into it. So, I was dating this guy. I was around 18. Okay? 18. About to turn 19 or whatever. Um, and I was involved with a guy who was way older than me, okay? 43, to be exact. I know, clutching your pearls, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, whatever. So, but, I'm gonna say this before y'all get the cheek 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 yippee, 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 okay? Because I've heard it all. He old not to be your daddy, and, um, what can he, gonna, what he gonna do with you? What you gonna do with them? Y'all don't have nothing in common. Why would you talk to somebody like that? He was trying to take advantage of you. Okay. So anyway, yeah. Once y'all get all that out in the comments or whatever. In my defense, I moved out of the house with my parents when I was 18 years old. Okay. As soon as I turned 18 years old and I could sign a lease, I moved out the house with my parents. Okay. The rule was, your own house, your own rules. So that's what I did or whatever. I respected my parents while I stayed with them. But once I moved out, it was my house, my rules. I did what I did. I did as I pleased. I was grown. I was staying on my own, paying for my own bills, all that, all that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, now to get that part out of the way or whatever. Whew. <laughs> So, we were, like, hanging out a lot. Of course, we got a lot of stares. A lot of people used to look at us crazy and stuff like that. But one thing that you, that happened to us, actually, kind of, I think it happened twice or whatever while we were together. Either two or three times. But this time was the biggest, okay? We were... We're worried. Oh, we were just driving one day, okay? So we were driving through, like, this suburb-like area. And it was dark okay it was it was nighttime and it was super 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 late or whatever i used to be a server so i think i had got off at like 11 or 12 and so we riding through this suburb type area now in this particular area you cannot be messing around in this area because the laws in this area they don't play no games now you can go 30 minutes away and you can cut up okay you can do whatever you want to do you can shoot kill rob steal you know what i'm saying you hear me but up in this area okay because they call the next area across their water okay you go across that water you can do what you want to do but you come on this side across that water you cannot do anything you better have everything in check see bells on turn the music down you know what i'm saying thug on the other side don't thug on this side okay you feel me so anyways we was on the suburb type side or whatever and we were rolling through because I actually worked in the suburb type side, but he lived in the hood on the other side, like the hood, hood on the other side. You feel me? Like one of the shooting my bang bang hoods. Okay. So back in his, back in the day, I was gonna say back in his day, which it is or whatever, he did get into a lot of trouble. Got into a lot of trouble. Did a lot of jail time or whatever, gang banging. You know all the. All the stuff that girls want. I'm not into that no more. Whatever. But y'all already know. I have openly discussed that I used to be with the thugs that show slug in the clubs when they mug. Okay? I was all for that. You know? I was ducking and dodging, clutching pistols, doing all that kind of stuff. Anyway. <laughs> None of me behind. That's behind us now. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, He had four felonies. Either four or five or whatever. Somewhere around there. We're going to say four. He had four felonies or whatever and had some other kind of charges on him or whatever. Um, just drug charges, guns, domestic violence, burglaries, you know, stuff, stuff. So, um, and you know, I'm, you, that was, was attracting me at the time, okay? I'm sorry. A lot of us like the thugs, okay? That's just how it was. If y'all watch my story times or whatever, y'all already know what I was into and what I liked or whatever. 
So we was riding through the area and um we're just riding or whatever. So we pet like in this particular suburb area, it be cops on like every corner or whatever. Like they be sitting there just waiting, baiting people out, you know what I'm saying? So he's driving my car or whatever. You know, we just talking or whatever. And so we just going, you know, and um we noticed that one get behind us. And so we're like, hmm. You know, like, what's going on? So, you know, we keep going or whatever. So, cop gets behind us, and he's like, uh, he pulls us over. And I'm like, okay, so what's what's really good? You know, what's going on? He's calm. He's always calm. He's just a calm type of person. So, he was like, um, well, you know that he's a, you, you know that he's dang, he's a dangerous person. Like, they pull me to the side, okay? So, he was in the front of the car or whatever, and they had handed him, he was, they was going over his uh, license and stuff and talking to him. So, another cop, because it was two cops in the car or whatever, another cop, like, young lady, can I see, you know, can I see your ID too? Can I talk to you over here? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So, he was like, he's a very, very dangerous guy. He's very dangerous. Have you do you know his rep sheet? Do you know what he's all about and things like that? And I'm just like, I mean, yeah, or whatever. You know, here's me, like 18 years old. I'm like, yeah, or whatever. So they're just like, but do you know what you're up against? I'm like, yeah. So then the cop starts like shining something in my face, like, are you okay? Is everything okay? Are you held against on against your will? You know, are you? Do we need to take you or anything? Then where's your parents? Where's your family? I'm like, well, I'm 18 years old. I'm grown. I should say on my own or whatever. I'm leaving work and we're just going home. He's like, where do you live? Where are you guys headed to or whatever? I was like, well, we're headed to such and such. You know, we're not causing any trouble or whatever. I'm like, what's going on? You know, why are we being pulled over? Like, I don't really understand why we're being pulled over. So they asked, could they search the car? And I'm guessing they asked, could they, show, could they search the car? Because he had, you know, his rep sheet. So I'm just like, yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? Search the car, you know? So they searched the car, whatever. I mean, they went through everything. They was everything. Told the car up. And so they was like, okay, uh, well, the reason why we stopped y'all is because there has been a burglary in the area and his description matches the burglary. I'm like, what? A burglary? So, so they're just asking like, do you know where he was? Where have y'all been? I'm like, he came and got me from work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I mean, he was sitting there at my job the whole time because that's what he would do. I worked at a restaurant, so he was sitting there until I got out. So y'all saying that a burglary just occurred? Like, I we don't know nothing about no no burglary. Or whatever. He's like, do you are you familiar with anything about the burglary? No, I don't know nothing about no burglary. burglary or whatever. I'm like, nah. Know whatever and then he's like he just kept trying to tell me he's a very dangerous guy are you sure you're okay and do you know how old he is do you know what he's capable of do i need to show you his rep sheet you know i was kind of like, like no i i know you know i know him i'm not i'm not scared or anything like that like i know what type of person he is i feel like i know what type of person he is i know, kind of know what he's capable of or whatever like everything is cool like we're good you know and he was like pressing the issue. Do you hear me? Just like, look, I just want you to be careful. I'm looking out for you. I'm like, I appreciate you for looking out for me. You know, you're not the first person to give me this type of pep talk. But I mean, this we're we're together, and it, I mean, I don't basically I don't have to see, you know, explaining him we together, whatever the case may be. I'm just on some stuff like, you know, this is my boyfriend. I don't know anything about a burglary. He's been sitting waiting on me to get off work. So, no, I I don't know anything about that. Okay? So, after, you know, searching everything and all that or whatever, they ended up, they ended up leaving and stuff. But... It, I felt like it was just really weird and it was just really awkward. You know, like y'all put us over, you search everything and you didn't even find anything. And then you're asking, is any, do y'all have drugs on y'all? You know, you drunk or you high? You know, y'all just like pat him down and just really full on harassing him. Because I know he has a rap sheet, but they like doing the most like patting him down and everything. I'm just like, okay, what did happen? Because I didn't know what was going on. You know, I was just kind of like, okay confused you know young me i'm just like i don't really at this point i don't really just know my rights like talking about or whatever i'm just kind of going with the flow i'm not trying to not 
you know, go along with the officers because I don't want anything to like happen or whatever. So I'm listening to what they're saying and I'm complying. I'm not trying to be, you know, not listen to them like, no, that, that, you know, mouth out because that's just going to cause a bigger problem. I would just rather comply with what these people saying, I don't have nothing on me. I don't have nothing in the car, whatever. He don't have, I, I mean, he been there with me. He never did have anything on him. So I wouldn't suspect anything, you know, but I just thought it was a really weird situation. I, I don't know. I would like to get y'all's input on the whatever. What y'all think? Y'all think it was a weird situation or whatever? But I don't know. Should I have let them search the car or not let them search the car or whatever? You know, should I have called the records like, you know, you know, like, why would y'all want to search my car and not in the car? You know what I'm saying? Like, what y'all think about this whole story time? Because it is kind of crazy. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Because I don't want to keep rambling on. Any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Oh, yeah, because somebody will ask and they're still going to ask even though I'm addressing this. Lashes, people ask me this under every video. There, the link is in my description box. It is always in my description box. Okay, the lashes are on the site. People go to the site and say they don't see the lashes. The lashes, the lashes are definitely on the site and they are definitely in stock. Uh, key, key, key. And I will have a link for this hair somewhere or whatever. But, anyways, yeah, see y'all in my next one.